What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Of course, my name is Gareth from Park Cameras, and today we're checking out the brand new, just announced, Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master lens. This is a very exciting lens. It's the, it's the widest angle prime lens in the G Master range. Of course, there's the 12 to 24 zoom lens as well, but this has a nice fast aperture, f1.8, 14 mil. That means it's good for all kinds of different types of photography, and of course, a video as well. So for example, this is gonna be great for landscape, obviously, you get those nice wide vistas. That nice fast aperture means this is gonna be fantastic for starry sky stuff, for getting those night landscapes. That's gonna be fantastic for that. Of course, architecture stuff, both indoor and outdoor, it's gonna be able to capture really, really well. And then of course, you've got video options as well. It's gonna be great on the front of something like the A7S III, something like that, to get those wider shots, pop on a gimbal. You've got a really nice setup there for some really good video. Of course, with a fast aperture like that, you could also incorporate some portrait work into what you use this for as well. Of course, it's gonna be different kind of portraits, it's gonna be very wide angle stuff, but it's absolutely doable. You can get some interesting kinds of portraits with a lens like this. Now let's talk about that image quality. Of course, like I say, I've tried this out for different kinds of things. We had some super nice weather, which really helps as well. But this lens, exactly as you'd expect, so no surprises here at all, super sharp. Really, really nice detailed images. Works really well with the 61 megapixels of the A7R4. So it'll work really well with things like the A7 III, the A7S III, the A1, all that kind of stuff. But just a very, very nice image. As you'd expect from a G Master, I'd be shocked if it wasn't amazing quality. Now you've got 14 elements in 11 groups within the lens. So you get an obviously very nice image quality there. And something which is very interesting, it's got an optical design to minimize coma and astigmatism for better star shots as well. So definitely Definitely that's something that is in mind with this lens in particular. You can get some really nice starry sky stuff. As we've come to expect from G Master lenses, it's got two XD linear motors in the lens, which means it's super fast and precise autofocus, but also silent. It's just great, which is great for things like video. If you wanna have a shotgun mic over the top of the lens, fantastic, you don't have to worry about any of that. We've come to expect this. There's a lot of things we expect from a G Master lens now, and this delivers on all of them. But it's worth saying anyway, because you know it's important to mention. That is one of them. The autofocus, of course, with Sony cameras is ridiculously good. I say this in every video about Sony stuff, but it's so, it's so good. And it's absolutely the same here. If you want to do portraits with this, you've got the eye autofocus, works every time. If you can't get the eye for some reason, face, subject tracking, back to face, back to eye, so, so good. There's a minimum focusing distance of 25 centimeters here as well. So you can actually get really quite close to your subject, whatever it may be. Now, of course you do want to watch out for a bit of distortion. It's just something that you have to be aware of with any kind of wide angle lens like this. Now the actual design of the lens itself is really nice. It's pretty minimal. You've got, of course, as we'd come to expect from G Master lens, the focus hole button on the side, which is customizable, AF, MF switch, and then a D clicker for the aperture ring. That's right, an aperture ring as well, which I think is really nice. The manual focus ring is also really nicely weighted. So if you are doing star shooting and stuff like that, that's a nice thing to know, you know, so you can make really quite fine adjustments easily because it does feel good to actually use that. It's also worth mentioning that this is very lightweight compared to what I thought it was gonna be. I didn't think it'd be crazy heavy, but this is, it's light and it's also balanced very well towards the back of the lens where the camera would be. So it's not really front heavy. It's it's actually makes the center of gravity for the whole setup much more kind of in the middle, which is exactly where you'd want it to be for kind of comfortable shooting. It also means it's very easy to balance on a gimbal. So if you do want to use this for video stuff, that's a really nice thing to know because you can be able to really quite easily balance this with the center of gravity being being right where you'd want it, not front heavy, which is good. I think this is actually a really good addition to the lineup of G Master lenses. I think it's a nice kind of ultra wide angle for people who like to shoot with that kind of stuff. It's probably a bit wider than I would normally go for, but that's only because I tend to go for, for slightly tighter stuff. I, I don't actually really shoot much wider than 35 mil a lot of the time. But I think this is a great option, especially for those night sky shots. This is fantastic. Super, super excited about that. And then for those kind of wider vista landscape stuff, great. And of course, architectural photographers, this is gonna be fantastic. And of course, you've got all the quality that you would expect from a G Master, both in terms of the image quality and the build quality of the lens, which is always really good. That G Master seal of approval is whew, difficult to beat. Now, if you have any questions about the lens, pop them down in the comments. Any thoughts as well? Is 14 mil too wide for you? Or 
super exciting. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Of course, there's a link in the description so you can go check out the lens for yourself with the pricing and all that kind of stuff. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe as well because that helps us out a huge amount. I will see you in the next video and as always, thanks for watching.